Italy's best 20 wine regions are better appreciated by understanding the grading system used in the country, together with a knowledge of the types of bars and ristoranti frequented by Italians, as explained from the two previous videos in this series. Now we're hitting the road, and visiting the first group of the best 20 wine regions in Italy, starting with the northwest of the country. So, fasten your seatbelt, and enjoy the delights of Italy as you've never seen before. And before you start your Italian wine enlightenment journey, please subscribe to the Expat Essentials for Italy YouTube channel, and then click the bell icon to avoid missing out on important news and further videos on life in Italy. And feel free to share the link and video, too. Plus, if you watch the video to the very end, you'll be able to gain access to a special guide that will make your introduction to La Dolce Vita even sweeter. So, Italy's best 20 wine regions to visit and enjoy, starts with the northwest of the country. There are four outstanding wine regions in the northwest of Italy, as follows. 1. Lombardy. 2. Piedmont. 3. Liguria, and 4. Val d'Aosta. Each region, whilst dominated by mountains, a dramatic coastline, and stunning lakes, offers varying reds and whites, and even sparkling wines. Number 1. Lombardy. The fashion region of Italy, with Milan as its capital, this region is the only one with a designated DOCG zone for sparkling wine. This is the Franciacorta, produced using production methods used in the Champagne region of France. The region's famous lakes play a significant role in wine making, as its microclimate enables the water to temper the heat to nurture the grapes, and produce some famous wines such as the Red Valtellina, Barbera and Pinot Noir. White wines include Pinot Bianco, Riesling and Moscato. Owing to its Austrian background, and close proximity to its neighbor, the Milanese dish of Cotoletta is similar to Vina, spelt with A, W, Schnitzel, except roasted potatoes are served instead of pom frites. Drink a Pinot Bianco to complement the veal. We've heard that Spritz in Milan is a good bar restaurant to visit. Number 2. Piedmont. There are two major wine-producing areas in Piedmont, Barolo and Barbaresco, both of which are designated as DOCG status. The red wine grape Nebbiolo is the main driver behind the production of these high-quality wines. White wines make up about a third of the region's total wine production, with Moscato and Cortese known as Gavi by the locals being the most well-known. These wines tend to be sweet and sparkling, such as Spumanti and Moscato d'Asti. For a hearty dish, go for a brasato al Barolo, which is veal cooked in Barolo red wine, washed down with, a glass of Barolo of course. Number 3. Liguria. Owing to its border with the French Riviera, and being one of the most expensive areas of Italy, it's not surprising that this region's coastline is referred to as the Italian Riviera. White wines are dominant here, which isn't really surprising as it's home to some mouth-watering fish dishes. Wine making is undertaken by many smaller family-run vineyards. The limestone and rocky terrain create the acidic soil for the white grapes to grow, producing such wines as Albarola and Vermentino. Red wines such as Sangiovese and Rossese are also produced. Liguria is known for its basil and pine nut dish of pesto, so try Trinette al pesto. Trinette is a Genovese pasta washed down with a refreshing Vermentino. Number 4. Val d'Aosta. Dominated by the Alpine terrain, and often referred to as the Auster Valley, this region boasts being the wine region situated at the highest altitude. Out of the regions in the northwest, Vale d'Auster is also the lowest producing wine region, as temperatures can be more extreme than elsewhere, so the grapes have to be hardy, with locals erecting pergolas to help protect the grapes. And because of its close proximity to France and Switzerland, popular white wines include Chardonnay, Pinot Grigio and Moscato. However, the majority of wine produced is red, using the Nebbiolo and Pinot Noir grape varieties, such as Picoandro. This is particularly so on the lower slopes in the Donners area, where the wine goes perfectly with delicious cheeses, red meat and local game. 
Now's a good time to let yourself indulge in one of those delicious Italian recipes you've always wanted to try, and sample that bottle of Italian red you've been itching to open and taste. In the next video, you'll get to know of the second of the 20 wine regions of Italy, in the northeast of the country. Here's to your next glass of Italian wine. And to ensure you don't miss out on any future videos, hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner of this video, and then click on the grey bell icon to be notified when future videos get uploaded to this channel. Now for that special guide, entitled, How to Create Your Italian Experience, we referred to earlier. Just click on the URL link in the description box below this video. Plus, please leave a positive comment below. And then, please share with friends, too. Enjoy! Finally, before you go, check out the videos about to come up on the end screen, where you can find more helpful information to help you with your adventures as an expat in Italy. Until next time, ciao for now!